Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going over the Dragon Priest Mask Otar. I'm going to show you a whole walkthrough of the dungeon to get it. I'm going to show you the stats on it afterwards after I pick it up. And I'm going to go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on this point on the map. Which is right near Markarth, which is called Rangalath, I think. I think that's what it's called. We've got Serena with us, because she's coming on all the Dragon Priest Mars. We also killed a dragon on the way out. And then we've got a rogue goat. So there's a, like, like two little keys that you need to actually do this. I will show you the whole thing. And uh, I want to say thank you as well to everyone, because I, I finally reached 100 subscribers. I know it doesn't sound a lot to probably most people, because I know people have got millions and millions. But to me, it means a whole great, whole great deal. I'm very, very thankful for every subscriber I get. So now I've got that out of the way. I'm going to go through the nice walkthrough of the cave. It's a bit confusing. Make sure you uh, loot this chest on the way. For me, it's just amethyst, gold, and rubies. That's because I've got the uh, 24 unusual stones. So a little alcove here with nothing in it. Then we're going to come to like sort of the main room that's in here, where we're going to have to put in the well, those two skulls that we've got to get. I'm just going to show you that now. You will uh, encounter Draga through this cave and uh, some traps. This is like the big main area and there's a door off to your left and there's a door off to your right. So we're going to take out these Draga that are in here. A couple of Death Lords. I'm using Soul Rend and Blood Scythe for this. which I've got a guide on them if you want to go and check that out. Very helpful video and uh, the Death Brand armor. I think in this video as well I'll also be using the Ethereal Crown, so I'll show you that to raise all the dead. I'll also have a build guide on that as well, so you might want to check that one out as well. There's three or four Death Lords in this area. That's the door you're going to come back through, I'll show you that in a moment. That's the one door that you're going to have to go through. I'm just looking to kill these other Draga because they're attacking Serena. She's over there firing her ice spikes as usual. Right, this is it. See, we're going to have to get two skull keys to activate this to get the uh, dragon priest out of here. So what I do for my first one is I'm going to come over to this right door here. Which I do believe it's the crypt, I think it's called. Yes, Ravengar crypt. Once inside, you're going to encounter more Draga. There's a few potions located over on that table if you want to pick them up as well. See some traps and that. I like it when you come through and then you got the Draga just laying down all asleep and you just wake them up with a sword to the face. Yeah, this one looks pretty uh, like he needed to be chopped and his mate next to him. I've got some other guides coming up in this week. I've got a couple more Dragon Priest masks and I've also got uh, a two handed build that you definitely want to check out because that is a good one. Also got some Daedric items coming up as well this week. I've already got all the uh, all the footage. I just need to edit it and do the commentary over it. So as you can see, I'm using the uh, ethereal crown thing here. Thought I'd take an army for this next bit. You can see them all raising up. And if these die, I can just raise them up again using the uh, ritual stone. Like I said, I've got a guide on that. So take out these other Draga. Don't get it why the Death Lords always shout over to the side. I'm sure they're meant to be hitting us. To take that Death Lord out, there's going to be a little uh, spell tome up here and this chest. Oh, it's not a spell tome, it's a book for restoration, sorry. I'm not going to bother with this chest because you can see it is trapped there. There goes my army of Draga. Any more? It's the only problem having an army in a cave, they always seem to get in my way. It's so nice having uh, over 100 subscribers as well. I feel like when I'm making these guides, I'm actually talking to someone rather than myself. I'm so thankful for it. I really am. It's pretty sad, really. I actually uh, text my mum straight as soon as it happened. As you can see, I've not picked up the thing there. Don't go back through there. You need to pick up the skull. But that is the way out, and the skull is just located in this room. Once you pick it out, you're going to have uh, another Draga come out this tomb over there that you're going to see. Here he comes. He's like the guardian. There's two guardians, obviously, both protecting each skull. Skull key. Another chest up in here. So get that one. Not much good uh, in here for me. Obviously, when you pick up the uh, skull, you're going to get some couple of Draga and the uh, the 
Guardian are going to come up. So right, that's that side clear. Now we're going to want to head over back through to the door right I almost come through earlier. Back into the temple, through the secret door. And then we're going to run directly straight over the bridge and we're going to go into the, the room onto your left. As you was coming in, it'd be on your left. And then the second skull is going to be located there. There's a, another Death Lord down there. Can't get this. This is going to be the way we're going to come back in. So we've got to jump down, take out this Draga. Oh, Serena's already done it. Then we're going to come to this area. While you're here, quickly have a shower, wash off that Draga blood. In here, there's four or five in here. I'm going to take these out. A couple of Death Lords. And for some reason, my game slowed down here. No idea why. It's not like it's an online online game or anything, so. But there was not, not really a lot I could do with that. It's only briefly anyway. And there as well. So a couple of potions there and there on the uh, shelves. If you want to pick them up on the way. And you're going to head a little bit further on into the cave. Just going to equip the ethereal crown just so I can take all them Draga with me. It's just so much fun doing that. We're going to come to this water area, we're going to come on through here. Then we're going to get lost. We are going to follow it through, I was just seeing if my army had followed me through. Another bit of slow down there for some unknown reason. There we go. I don't think it happens anymore. And then the second skull is going to be up here. As soon as you activate this, the uh, Draga are going to come back out their tombs again. There's three of them. Another Guardian, which is this one here. Stabbed him good. I hate these ones where they give all that ice off and electrocute you and all that. It's like mages as well, they're really irritating. But once we've picked up that one, we have both keys that are required, so we're going to head back into the, uh, the main room of this cave. Not before coming up the top here because there is a. This is trapped. I think there's a chest up as well that I'm going to show you. If you tread on that, then you get the swinging axes come through. There's a lever there to stop it if you do accidentally hit the pressure pad. In here, there's going to be the chest there on the left. There's a few potions and chalting altar there as well if you want to do a bit of that. I'm not going to bother doing this for the purpose of this video, but if you want to, pick it up. Once we've come back through this door, we're going to uh, stand and look at this rock for a bit. There we go. That was it, because uh, my army come out behind me and pushed me all the way into the door. That's where I was stuck. I have to kill one of these to get them out of my way. A bit of Draga and Draga action. I'm going to come back through the barred door that I tried to get through earlier. And then we can put the keys into the special tomb thing, which is located where I showed you at the start of this video. Pop them in. One on the left, one on the right. Some creepy looking skulls. The Altar is going to pop out of here. Altar the Mad. It's a nice easy fight, especially when you've got your own army with you. Oh, there's a Frost Astronaut in here as well. And that's going to be him down. We're going to search him, take his mask. He's got 250 gold. This is classed as heavy armour. Resistance against fire, frost and shock is improved. It doesn't say what percent, but overall quite a nice looking mask. Probably not the best one of the lot. He's also got a staff of storm wall as well that you could pick up if you need that. If you're that magey sort of person. And don't forget when you've done that to come up here because there is a big boss chest that you can go in, which is located here. And there's also a word wall. Not much in here. I'm going to take that ring of restoration just to break it down with my enchanting. And then you want to come over here and grab this word wall. Which is going to be peace, kinds, peace. Right, that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful or enjoyed it, smash that like button for me. Subscribe for more Skyrim tutorials. I'll see you in the next video. Great tutorial, eh? Serena, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah, she thinks so. Right, I'm out.